At the World Economic Forum in Davos last week, Ursula von der Leyen, president of the European Commission, said that there is no time to waste in transitioning to a clean energy economy. In less than three decades, we want to reach net zero. In less than three decades, we have to reach net zero. The aviation industry is often cast as a villain in the fight against climate change. The International Civil Aviation Organization says that by the mid-2030s, no fewer than 200,000 flights per day are expected all over the world. Greener fuel is the only way for airlines to meet global carbon emission targets. An initiative in Spain is tapping into organic waste from olive pits to make sustainable aviation fuel. We have in Andalusia 25% of the world's olive groves, which means we have a high amount of production. So here, logically, there is much interest in being able to take advantage of all this biomass to be able to transform it into these biofuels and into other products as well. In a pilot project with biofuel maker Sepsa, 200 flights from six different airlines using 4.5% biofuels derived from olive pits and other vegetable waste made commercial flights from the Seville airport in late November. Research is underway to come up with similar fuels for cars that will require no significant changes in automotive technology, allowing the fuel to power vehicles already on the roads today. We are going to try to obtain from biomass the biofuel that is most similar to the one we have now in such a way that we have to make as few changes as possible, and we can use this biofuel as quickly as possible directly in transport or in cars. Fossil fuels used in Spain are almost entirely of foreign origin, which means the incentive to develop biomass technology is great. The prospect of converting olive waste into fuel and other products such as construction materials, could boost the economy and also create new jobs in a region of the EU with one of the highest rates of unemployment. For Alfonso Beato in Seville, Marcus Harton, VOA News.